Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Before we do begin today's video, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button, making sure you're smashing another like as well. I also took note of the constructive criticism I got in my last video, which was to shut the blind, well not shut the blinds, but make sure I didn't have a light behind me contrasting with the webcam. I have shut the blinds, but it's not the best because they aren't, that's not actually a window, they're two doors leading out into the roof. Uh, so I'm trying to get some curtains for that right now because we redid my whole bedroom a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but kind of hard to get hold of them right now, what's going off and them being doors and being such a big thing to cover. So that will be coming, just have to piss V, I've shut them the best I can. Hopefully it doesn't contrast too much, I know you can see it there, but hopefully it's alright, I might have to reposition the webcam, we'll see. But apart from that, if you do find anything that you think I could improve on in today's video, make sure you do comment it below, because I take it into account, I love knowing your feedback and what you think was good and bad about the video, it does mean a lot to me. But without further ado, we're going to hop straight into today's video guys, and there has been the ongoing debate ever since the game's released, which SMG is better, the MP7 or the MP5, and in today's video, I'm going to just make that decision. Believe me, it's a tough decision. I'm a huge MP5 player. I've used the MP5 for so long, but after today, the gameplay you're going to see, I'm leaning heavily towards the MP7, and this could actually be the best SMG in the game for a number of factors, which I will cover in the gameplay. So make sure you are watching to the end to make sure you know every single factor that's going to be taken into account in today's test. In case you are wondering as well, this is the class setup I will be using in today's gameplay. Probably the best MP7 class setup you can probably make. Absolutely insane. But like I mentioned just a second ago, make sure you guys are smashing that subscribe button. We're going to hop straight into a game now. Hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the gameplay. Oh, this map's so sick, man. Oh, I've missed that. Oh, well, that guy clearly loved Hard Hat way too much. Not in that game, though. Now that game was pretty much finished, so I decided to sleep that game straight up. We've got ourselves a kill confirmed on Hard Hat. Honestly, I must agree with that guy, though. Loving Hard Hat. I am loving it as well. This map is on it. Oh, my God, there's something right here. But yeah, this map is so much fun, honestly, I really do enjoy, oh my god, I really do, do enjoy playing it if I can get my words out. And I can't believe how good the MP7 is, oh my life, that kid just got melted. Perfect example of how good this MP7 actually is, it's honestly an absolute beam. I think I'm going as far as to say now, if I'm using the MP5, I've got like nearly 10,000 kills with the MP5, so uh, I've used the MP5 a fair bit, and I've only got like 3,000 kills with the MP7. The MP7 is better, I think it's, oh my life, they're coming around this corner, teammates going to take him, and I'll take that guy, thank you, and somebody else, and you're going to get beamed as well. Honestly, in terms of the MP5, I think the MP5 up close is probably better than the MP7 up close. But medium to long ranges, which you too, do tend to get in them kind of engagements early, oh my god, a lot more often uh, on Modern Warfare in my eyes. And in their medium to long range gun fights, this gun seriously does come out on top majority of the time. Literally no, oh my life, perfect example, I've just absolutely lasered that kid. And it's just got next to no recoil, which the MP5, yeah, I, it does beam at range if you can manage the recoil. Once you get used to the recoil pattern, you can do it. But with this thing, it's just a laser beam. Oh my god, get out of my face. There's literally no recoil as we get the VTOL just there on that long range beam. This gun on Warzone as well, especially, is so, so good on Warzone as well. Just the simple fact of range, it's just a laser beam. It's been like this since the start of the game. I think it's a, such an underrated, uh, oh my god. Close VTOL in. I think there's somebody coming for me as well. I think I need to come. To oh yeah, I knew there was. I'm gonna die here, hundred percent. I can't. Go oh my god, I knew I was gonna die. Simple fact is, I had. I was just in that corner. He had pre-aim on me and everything. There's no way I could have got out of there really. But I think it has been just in the shadow of the MP5 this whole time in Modern Warfare, and I don't really know why. You know, the MP5 is an absolute. Oh my god. Oh my god, this grenade. No. Oh my god. I know the MP5 is an absolute melt machine. Don't get me wrong. It's one of my favourite guns in this game and I think the MP7 is just going to take that place for the simple fact is oh my god just the simple fact is that there's actually no re it's literally a laser that's why no recoil it's a laser beam it times killing it is so fast I think it is better and I just think I don't know why I think it's just because of the shadow of the MP5 over the top of it and I don't know why oh my god oh my god why the MP5 uh, was always class better than this gun, I have no idea why. Uh, maybe it's because pro players use it more, I don't really know. Oh my god, I, I just got a triple kill. One of them kills from the VTOL, two headshots and a... I don't even know if I got all the three kills there with the MP7. I have no idea, but wow, if I did then... Jeez, that was insane. But I think from now on, I'm personally going to be using the MP7 a lot more than the MP5. You get a lot more bullets, 60 round mags. Oh my god, this kid on the head glitch. No way. I'm just going to run away from that kid. I'm not even going to try and challenge. Oh my god. 
So I'm telling all you guys right now to literally, if you use the MP5 all the day, all, all day, all the time, like I used to do, try the MP7, man. Just use it a little bit more, and I'm fuzz and flashed. Brilliant. This kid's gonna push. He's not even pushing. I'm gonna take that kid off the head glitch, and this one will be OD around there. You're dead, my friend. Thank you. Definitely try this out for yourself a little bit more. There's someone here. There's someone here. Hey, it's wagon balls again. And I just don't even know why I kept on running. I knew there was behind that pillar, but I don't even know. We're not doing too bad. 17 kills right now. I think you can get so aggressive with this MP7 as well. It's a lot more versatile than the MP5. Oh my god! Come on. In terms of you can just beam up close and a range. Kid right here. Where's he gone? Oh my god, where's he gone? This kid has literally disappeared from my existence. He's outside here, isn't he? Yeah, goodbye my friend. I also want to take this time as well just to thank you guys ever so much for the continued support on the channel. That kid's gonna die. Uh, just for the simple fact- oh my god, I can't get that kill. Just for the simple fact is you guys own my life. I can't even talk, get my words out right now. There's people all around me. Just for the simple fact is the support on the channel recently has been absolutely insane. We're 30 subscribers away from 1,300, so I'd appreciate if you guys could smash that subscribe button. And hopefully we can get there by the end of the month. I mean, there is literally five more days or something stupid like that. Maybe maybe a bit more, maybe a week. I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many people here. Oh my god, I'm spinning around in circles. We're so close to another VTOL. That kid's not playing. There's some guy in this little hut. Teammates picked him up though, that's a shame. Where are this kid? Where are they? This guy out here. There's the VTOL. This game's nearly over, man. Wow, it's gonna go quick. You're. Oh my god, what? He's going off. I couldn't get a kill there. There's so many people. All that VTOL in the game is ended. Wow, that went super quick. But yeah, I hop into another game because I want to talk about what I want to talk about. Oh my god. Thank you guys for the support. And like I said, we're 30 subscribers away from 1,300. And it'd be so, so good if we could hit that before the end of the month. I think this around a week or so. I posted on my Instagram. And why is C4 just falling through doors? I wanted to close that door so it was on the other side. But. <laughs> Hey ho, there's a hiccup there, I do apologise. This kid's in the corner, they die, and there we go. But the support has just been insane. Well, it's such a steady growth right now, and it might not sound like a lot, but we're gaining around three to four subscribers every single day per video I upload, and each video is getting around 100 views or more. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more, and it's just insane. I've never had this kind of period where I have over like 100 views like consistently and a growth consistently i know the growth isn't humongous but i mean them three to four people every single day is adding up super quickly and it's really really is overwhelming almost and it does make me feel super motivated and super happy seeing it but like when i check the analytics the next morning i try to refrain from checking the video as much as possible for the simple fact of numbers can get the better of you and if you're too focused on numbers it can really knock the motivation so like if you are doing well for a period of time and then you have a period where you're not doing so well it can be super demotivating so i try to pull myself away from that i don't want anything to demotivate me especially right now uh, as nothing really else is going off oh my god this kid's laid down i want to stay as motivated as possible and bring the most content to you as i can and the best quality content as i can while i have all this time and to better myself as a person as a youtuber as a content creator and I think I am doing that pretty well at the minute. Oh my god, goodbye my friend. We need to call this VTOL in. We're two kills off in advanced as well. I don't want to choke that. I'm probably gonna, like I usually do. But thank you guys for that. Honestly, I am super, super happy with the way the channel's going at the minute. And I'm glad I can motivate other people as well. I, I hope I can. I mean, my friend Moz said it's contagious in yesterday's video. Um, and he is really, really good doing some absolutely high quality, like top content. We're on a merch list as well. I'll link his uh, channel right now, like a little pop up on the screen in the top right hand side. So make sure you check him out, drop him a follow, subscribe, whatever you want to do. He's really, really smashing it right now as well. And to be able to mo feel like my motivation is contagious to him, someone who is already really motivated, it, it really it makes me feel really good about myself. You know, like I can actually help inspire other people or make them want to record more videos and stuff like that and I get so many people asking me for advice on Instagram as well mainly on Instagram I don't really get many people on Twitter or in YouTube asking me these kind of things so if you aren't following me on my Instagram and Twitter make sure you do links are always in the description like what do I edit with what's the best way to edit and I'm not even a really good editor I just you know I make them look as best as I can uh, I am trying to get a bit more experimental and oh my what's this kid doing in the corner let's just look at this guy man Okay, just sign the corner, but it's nice to be able to help people and 
they asked me how I do my thumbnails. I even I've, I've been asked to do a video covering my edit, like doing an editing video, like how I edit, but. I don't know if that's going to go down well. Uh, yeah, I've only had one person ask, and that's the, that's the problem. I get so many requests for different things. I've been asked to do a zombies video on Black Ops 4. I've been asked to do editing videos and them kind of videos. And yeah, by all means, I'm flattered that you asked me to do these kind of, kind of videos. And I love playing zombies, and I love I would love to show you my editing. But with the vast majority, I want to see that, and that's the only thing I have to think right now. I know I don't have many people following me, but right now, that's just what I'm thinking of. I promise at some point I will do them videos, I promise you, and I will play with some of you guys. I get asked so many times to watch my Activision ID and can we play some games of Warzone and stuff. But to be honest, I don't actually have the time because I'm hopping on in the mornings, I'm playing in the mornings, trying to get a gameplay and think of new video ideas. And for the afternoon, I'm editing videos pretty much all afternoon. And then after I've done that, it's around 6, 7 o'clock and I'm just chilling out for the next couple of hours doing I don't, I don't know doing I don't know what until nine o'clock rolls around and and then I'm you know checking the video and then when nine o'clock rolls around I'm sort of settling down a bit to be fair you know I don't I don't go to bed at four o'clock in the morning I'm up all night playing Call of Duty believe me but yeah that's my schedule right now and I feel like it's really really productive so if I'm not playing with you guys that's so you know why sorry if it feels like I'm rambling it's just super overwhelming right now with the way the channel's going and I'm really super happy and I'm so glad that pumping out many videos I pri privatized literally nearly near enough all my videos before Modern Warfare not yesterday the day before the simple fact is them videos had super low quality uh, I didn't want people stumbling upon them and that taking them away from the channel so say you're browsing YouTube and you come across one of my Black Ops 4 videos it's super low quality and you're just gonna click straight off it if someone's gonna stumble upon my videos I want them to stumble upon this video for instance where it's a lot higher quality than what I used to be a lot more entertaining I would hope and just better quality in general and have the more chance of securing the subscriber you know but that's what it's all about making sure I can keep you guys engaged uh, for as long as possible and that you enjoy the videos as long as possible and seeing your nice comments that you love the video and that you like what I'm doing it honestly is so humbling and I, having 1200 subscribers at this point moment in time if you saw 1200 people in front of your eyes it is a hell of a lot of people and I still I say it to my girlfriend all the time I can't believe where I'm at like I've got people comment on my videos saying they love my videos like my videos it's just honestly insane and it's not a lot of people but it's just crazy I, I never thought it would happen and I want to give this my all and yeah that's why I don't focus off on the numbers because if I get demotivated and just quit then I'll always think well what could it have been that's why I want to give it my all that's why I upload every single day to the best quality I can because if I don't try, if I don't give this my all, I'm probably going to regret it and just want to see where it goes because you just never know. You've got to be in it to win it. You know, if you want to win the raffle, you've got to buy a ticket, that kind of thing. If you don't, then you're just never going to know. So take the chance, just go for it. If you have something you want to do, then do it. You know, if you don't do it, then you'll never ever know and that's the reality of it. So if you're going to do something, give it everything you've got. Believe me, guys, that's what I'm doing right now. So far, so good. And I want to just push this channel to the next level for the rest of Modern Warfare and hopefully next year another Black Ops coming to the series. I'm so, so hyped. And Warzone being added into this game's pushed the cut made the Call of Duty community like really, really big again. I think, you know, Warzone is huge. And I would like to bring some more Warzone to the channel, so hopefully that will be coming in the near future. I know we can smash this 1,300 subscriber goal by the end of the month. Please, guys, smash that subscribe button. We can do it, honestly. But yeah, this last month has probably been one of my best months on YouTube this far and I have had videos go viral I've had videos of I mean I've got a Minecraft video which is the only old video I didn't privatize for the simple fact it's about to hit 10,000 views and how that video got 10,000 views I have no idea I hate people stumbling upon that video it's awful quality it's, it's honestly such a awful video and somehow it's got 10,000 views almost uh, and it is a shame, I'd rather one of my newer videos that are a lot better quality go viral. And I'm sure it'll happen eventually. I say viral, that's viral to me, it might not be to some of you guys. But I'm sure it'll happen, we just have to wait for the right video at the right time, and I'm sure I will do it. Okay guys, I decided to leave that game there, that last game, because we were starting to get absolutely destroyed. Hopefully this video hasn't gone on too long as I started rambling on about YouTube and stuff like that and the way I'm feeling. But thank you guys ever so much, I can't thank you guys enough. Honestly, it means so much to me. So if you are, if you guys are new around here, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure you've got bell notifications turned on. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash a like. I hope I can motivate some of you guys to start your own channel, or if you already have your own channel, I'll motivate you even more to push it to that next level because that's all we need to do is just improve, keep improving. 
and I'm sure we'll go far, all of us, my channel, your channel, whoever you may be, I'm sure you can do it, just give it you all. But anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you try this MP7 class out for yourself, because honestly, I think it's the best SMG in this game, it kind of went a little way off subject towards the end of this video, but hopefully you guys stuck it with me. If you made it this far in the video, thank you guys ever so much, make sure you smash that like button, I hope to catch you guys in the next one.